Hey everyone, Aaron here. So let's talk today, especially for any men tuning in, about reverence. Reverence is a state of, of deep, uh, almost eternal gratitude. And as I reference the state of, of goddess, goddess is that pure kind of archetypal, you could say feminine or kind of more uh, female polarity energy. Um, and I, I share about reverence, I share about honoring for a variety of reasons. It, it's mainly for a sense of in myself, the more I've learned to almost be on my hands and knees in gratitude, in this like divine sacred appreciation for the, the archetypal energy of the goddess then it's, there's a surrender to that. And as many of you know, I do a lot of work with men. I have an upcoming men's retreat happening in Bali. And there's a lot of surrendering because for us as men, there's so much happening in the mind all the time and there's so much of this erectness that happens in that, the, the pillars of, of, of consciousness, of, cre of, of servit servitude that we bring into the world. So. I found that in my own journey, the more I really can almost be at the feet of the goddess in a state of, of deep gratitude, then I'm not, you know, saying, you know, thank you for, um, I'm saying thank you for everything you are, but I'm really honoring the goddess inside of me. Because just like there, there's that goddess in her, there's the god there too, god and goddess being that kind of polar opposites. Because there's that man inside of me, there's a woman inside as well. So the more I, I show that reverence, that deep appreciation for the mirrored uh, reflection of beauty, of, of conviction, of creativity, of energy, of emotion that women bring forth into this world, then I get to take all that and, and apply it into my own existence, into my own projects, into everything that, you know, is brought through this individual life force energy that, that, that I'm here with. And I think there's a big part of that in, in today's world that's kind of missing. You know, I, I you know, following in some of the th threads and in, in what has been happening in, um, in the world with almost a, a destruction and this feeling of, of men stepping forward to say, you know what, I, I had some uh, faults, I made some mistakes, and, and here's, here's my truth. That happened with that Me Too um, uh, kind of following on Facebook and whatnot. But there's something so powerful for men to say, you know what, like, all I can do is just bow to the goddess in you to help me remember the goddess in me. And in doing that, there, there's a, a chord that's created. There's a chord that's connected between the, the sky and the deep, like dark pits of, of earth. So we're connecting all of these spirals. We're connecting all of these dots together so that the experience is one of, of integration. The experience is one of fluidity. The experience is one where instead of, of life having a feeling that, you know, we, we can't do this, or we can't do that. There's, there's a feeling of integration because we're remembering our own inner man, our own inner woman, and that is what we then bring into the world beyond the judgment, beyond, you know, the representation of how these other characters in this theater show of our projected life show up. And, and if you can relate to life being a theater show of projections, leave a comment, leave some, you know, re, uh, appreciation to that. Because I recognize that so much, all of the characters that are coming into my life are just, they're, they're here to help me grow, they're here to help me evolve. So, and I can remember that, but then return to the space of reverence for their presence in my life, then, I, I move beyond my mind, I move beyond my genitals, I move beyond my belly, and I'm just exploded in this space of, of, of wisdom, of appreciation, of fucking thank God you're alive. Like there's nothing more powerful to say to another being, to, to bow at their feet, to say thank you for the gift of your creation. Like what more can, is the offering that's there? Because inside of that, everything that they exude is inside of you. 
So the reverence has nothing to do with, with saying, oh, you're all this and I'm not that. The reverence is saying thank you for all of the ways that you just show up in your beauty, in your mistakes, in your faults, in everything that is the divine manifestation that is me, that is you, that, that is this existence of humanity. And, and the, these arts of whether it be, you know, connection or, or uh, tantra, all of this is really about recognizing the divine inside of another so that we can truly recognize that inside of us. So the most deep heartfelt relationship that we ever build is of one inside of here. So that that is rock solid, strong, it's clear. We're moving from the space of integrity. Integrity not from shaming, from guilting ourselves or others, but integrity from a state of saying, fuck yes, fuck yes to this world, to this existence, to everything that that, that God has brought me here to, to bring. So as I bow to the, the, the feet of the goddess, as I bow to the, the feet of, of pure, eternal e emotion, pure, eternal creativity, I'm bowing that to that within me that's being represented inside of this other being. It might sound like a lot, and, and if this spur sparks an interest inside of you, if you want to like really find out more of what this all is, Send me a message, like come see me at one of the events I'm doing, because now is the time to unveil all of the, the greatness that's fucking inside of you. When you look to see yourself in the mirror, when I look at myself in the mirror, yeah, there's things I might want differently and everything else like that, but just to see the soul, the soul that, that, that is timeless, that is never born, is never die, that has the opportunity to take this form, to say thank you, Goddess, thank you, life, for the gift of, of, this, of this creation, of this body, of this beautiful manifestation of life. Thank you all for taking a few moments just to tune in to some of the craziness I bring out. Uh, I'd love to see you in Australia or Bali coming up uh, and have some other events happening in the U.S. later on next summer. Come discover, come discover who you truly are through your uh, erotic genius, through your mental genius, through your psychological awareness, through the brilliance of the soul, soul wisdom that's waiting to unearth into this, into this earth, into this existence, into this pure create, creation of life. Thank you. <laughs> See you soon.